What's up, everybody? This is Ariel. Welcome to another episode of Bullshit, where we tell it like it is and not the way it wants to be told. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about why equal rights will never fucking happen. That's going to be the title of this video. Equal rights will never happen. Uh, Jason Alexander, the guy who was famous for playing George Costanza on the sitcom Seinfeld, um, you know, like, he made a, a gay joke. On the Late Late Show, right? And, like, basically what the joke was, like, it, it's right here, so I'm gonna just read it, so, so I'm gonna shoot, like, straight to the heart. It says, it's, well, like, what he made a joke about, um, like, was the game, uh, like, Cricket. Now, for those who don't know what cricket is, it's a sport that they play, um, like, over in Great uh, Britain. You know, like, I don't really know too much about it myself, but it's, like, I've seen some games of it. It's kind of like an, an awkward game of, uh, like, American baseball. You know what I'm saying? And basically, like, what his joke was like, um, it's, it's the pitch, Alexander told Ferguson, it's the weirdest pitch, it's not like a manly baseball pitch, it's a queer British gay pitch, you know, like, th that's what it was, and, um, you know, uh, you know, he did apologize for his reaction because, you know, people were starting to speculate and shit like oh like is this guy homophobic or whatever i'm supposing but you know he went and he apologized on you know you know like to the public and and such but, but like here's the thing it was a damn joke you know what i mean like they have a variety of jokes out there in my opinion, like, he really shouldn't have had to apologize for this. I'm going to be honest, it's just that people just fucking sensitive to this these days. And this is what I mean by equal rights will never happen. Like, when people think of equal rights, it's this fabricated idea that everyone should be treated right. And you don't need equal, equal rights for that to happen. Like, on some true shit. As long as acts like chivalry exist, Equal rights will never happen. Equal equal rights means valuing everyone on an equal footing. Everyone is valued the same. Men, women, and kids. And that's just not going to happen. Period. The people that do that are either shunned as evil, wrong, you know, the punks, etc. They look at as what you don't want to be in society. If a man is getting ready to... Uh, like to fight a woman, right? The world will make that man out to be like one of the worst people ever. But let's say, for example, if I jump in front of that woman, I'm acknowledging that, you know, she cannot fight this man who is typically stronger than her, right? It's like just because you think less of her to the point where you are willing to do that, that's not always a bad thing. You know, if anything, it's a good thing because, like I said, this man is typically stronger than this woman, so it, it's not a fair fight. You know, now, let's say if I didn't do anything, you know, like, let's say this is happening in a park, and he was, and, and like, me, like, I was just sitting on a bench. I was just, you know, like, just chilling right there, just, you know, like, um, uh, eating a Subway sandwich or something. You know, like with my headphones on, I was listening to music and I was just staring at what's going on. And I see that this man is about to attack this woman aggressively. You know, my first reaction would be, well, the world's first reaction would be, you know, like, why didn't anybody do anything? Well, he was, I was treating the situation like as if two men were fighting. You know, that's what equal rights is. It's treating everybody on equal footing saying that she can defend herself against this man on equal ground, right? 
that's what equal footing is. You know, which giving the example would be wrong for me to do. You know what I'm saying? And gay jokes would be another reason why equal rights will never happen. You know? You know, like back when people started telling, you know, like racist jokes, well like well, like I should say invoking racial humor, you know, people didn't like it at all. You know, they were being ex like all extra sensitive and and stuff, you know, that like they didn't agree to it, you know, like they weren't open to it. You know, because they Because, you know, they felt like kind of singled out or whatever. And, you know, like, like the same thing with gay jokes. You know, people are acting too sensitive. Now, I know it's going to be people that might ask, well, if no one's laughing at it, uh, you know, is it still a joke? Yes, because just because you don't laugh at it or you find it corny or even if it's just a bad joke, that doesn't make it any less something that should not be taken so damn seriously. You know what I mean? And that's what people don't want to admit. They don't they don't want to admit that, okay, well, it, it was a joke, you know, whatever, you know. Now, I'm not talking about so-called jokes where, you know, there are people that are intentionally being offensive because, you know, that's just a completely different ball game. But when someone is making a joke that just so happens to be about someone that's gay, people jump the gun and like, oh, you must be homophobic. No. What I'm doing you is I'm treating you the same as I would any other person. Just like Asians get treated at, at, at these comedy shows, just like, you know, like comedians treat black people, whites, you know, Mexicans, whatever. They tell jokes about gay people, but it seems like no matter what, anytime you tell a, like some type of gay joke, it's always got to be something about being homophobic and all this, like this oversensitive subject. But yet, everybody wants to jump up and say, hey, equal rights. Do you really understand what equal rights is? In order for you to even ask that or even request that, you know what I'm saying, you would have to... Um, you would have to know what it is that you want. You know, like you can't ask for a piece of something and, you know, like then not want the rest of it. You feel me? I mean, it's just ridiculous. And, you know, it really just goes along the line as, hey, like, they would never be a such thing as equal rights. You know what I mean? Like, equal e equal rights equals valued on equal footing, meaning that we are all valued the same, which won't happen. As long as it's socially acceptable in society for, you know, like, one gender to do one thing and it's not okay for another gender to do that same thing, you know, like, regardless if the reason is justified or not, equal rights won't exist. So, my thing is, don't ask for it if you don't want to deal with the changes. If you are going to act oversensitive, you know what I'm saying, just because somebody said, like, a gay joke, and, and it wasn't, like, a bad one, it was just a gay, it was just a joke about gay people, you know, just like they make jokes about black people, Asians, or whatever. You know, it's just a damn joke. It's not meant to be taken seriously to the point where somebody should have to apologize. You know, like I said, if I tell a joke that just so happens to be about gay people, that's different than me just intentionally trying to be, you know, like just trying to bash gays. You know what I mean? And... It's just fucked up that people take shit the wrong way to the point where people overreact to where they feel like the person that did something like that have to apologize. But then those very same people is going to bitch about wanting equal rights and being made equal. Like I mentioned, equal rights is just this fabricated idea that 
you want everybody to be treated right and you don't need equal rights for that you know because as long as you're treating somebody as less than you or if you're looking at somebody as you know like feeble compared to you that's not always a bad thing like I just gave an example between a man and a woman if a man is getting ready to attack a woman and another man comes up and you know like his like her husband or a boyfriend or something but you know like you know like just steps up to defend that woman you know th that man that's that's stepping in front of that woman in order to defend her he's acknowledging okay this woman is feeble compared to this man that's trying to attack her you know what i'm saying he's he, you have to think less of that woman in order to do that now that not that may not be the, the typical way you do that but hey you know, like when you think less of somebody, like when you think of thinking less of somebody, that's not what you typically may think, but that's what you're doing. You're acknowledging that this woman is less than you in terms of strength. So you're going to defend her so that this fight will be more fair. You know what I mean? So, hey. That's all it is. Uh, you know, like, it's 2012. If you want equal rights, then don't be so fucking ashamed and don't overreact to shit because it's, it's not always a bad thing when somebody tries to include you into society, you know, especially when somebody makes a joke uh, that just so happens to involve either you know a certain race and it's not being a, a bad joke you know like they're not intentionally being you know you know like bashing gays or whatever it's more so I, I just think that people overreact to shit because they're just sensitive they'll sit there and bitch and complain for equal rights but then when somebody gives them that or treats them as such you know, that person that does that is getting looked at as evil or wrong or, you know, like, like pretty much, you know, like just something negative. And like I said, don't ask for equal rights if you don't want to deal with the changes that comes with equal rights. Period. So that being said, I'm uh get on out of here. And uh, hey, as long as there's bullshit in the world, I'm going to have shit to talk about. Peace.